Hello, my friend, I'm Amy Esther, and I live with multiple chronic illnesses, including postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, or POTS, which causes my blood not to circulate well. So I wear compression socks, all day, every day. And I recently did a video all about compression socks. And I said multiple times in that video that the only pair of compression socks I will wear are Jobst and that they're my favorite. They are the best. And I've tried a bunch of others that didn't stand up. And then as I was editing that video, it got me thinking something that I like to challenge myself to think all the time, which is what if I'm wrong? <laughs> I think we always think we're just have to be right all the time. And so I like to challenge myself every once in a while to think, Amy, what if you're wrong? What if you haven't tried every pair of compression socks out there? What if there was one that was better than Jobs? So I decided to try out some new ones. So although I have tried many brands in the past, I decided to pick brands that I'd never tried before between $4 and $50 plus dollars a pair of compression socks. And I'm trying to stick with the highest tightness I could get, ideally 30 to 40 mmHg, but some of the cheaper ones just were not available in anything tighter than 20 to 30. So I thought, you know what? They're super cheap. Let's just try them out and see, do they even compare to Jobs 30 to 40 mmHg. So the higher the numbers, the tighter the compression socks. More details on compression socks, all about them, how they work, how to find the right ones for you will be linked in the description below in my video all about compression socks. Today, I just want to review these other brands of compression socks and see if they are worth it, if you should spend more money on compression socks or less money, or if Jobst is our number one winner. There is a clear winner in this competition. I will tell you that right from the beginning. So let's get started. We're going to go through the cheapest ones first and keep going until we get our most expensive $56 pair of compression socks. So starting with our $4 compression socks, they were 20 to 30 mmHg. Like I said, you cannot get cheaper 30 to 40s. I couldn't find any under $20 a pair at least of 30 to 40. So I thought we're going to try a couple 20 to 30s just to see. And these ones were really cute. These have little llamas on them. And that is the one thing about Jobst. And one reason I wanted to try new ones is because I can only buy black or tan, which yes, most of the time, that's probably what I'm going to want to wear. But sometimes you just want some cute socks. And so I thought, you know what, we need to try some cute ones on and just see if the cuteness is worth going down <laughs> to 20 to 30 and a cheaper price range. So these ones that I bought were actually a pack of six, because they were so cheap, they came in a big pack. And it was Fengol, Fengoloda, Fengoloda. I'm definitely saying that wrong. I'm terrible at pronouncing things. But this brand never heard of, but they are compression socks. It says support for nurse pregnant running medical was their description there. So this came in a pack of six. They were $25.99 and I bought the small to medium size. Okay, I have my pile of compression socks. I plan on cleaning those up today, but... I tried these super cheap ones today. I actually tried two different sets. I tried these, which were on the cheaper end, but not the cheapest. And then these ones were my cheapest ones. And they're just not good, okay? They're just bad. Okay, all of them. These are not good. These super cheap ones with cute little animals on them are so fun. Look. Little... Sock monkey, so cute. Uh, llamas, I mean, these are fun, okay? They're very fun. I don't think I can wear these. I think I'll keep them. I don't think I can return any of these, unfortunately. But I think today, because I'm gonna be up doing some cleaning and stuff today, I need to change out of these. These, for me, would work maybe, like, if I'm gonna be resting all day, if I'm gonna be in bed most of the day. So as I tried these socks on, I could tell immediately they were not as tight as the ones that I'm used to. They were nowhere near as hard to get on. I could slip them on so easily. Also, I will say they definitely are compression socks because I would get little imprints of the animals on my legs when I take them off, which was kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. But they they just didn't do enough, okay? So if you're pregnant and that's the only medical thing going on, if you are a nurse and standing all day or a teacher and standing all day and have a job where you just need something to help your blood circulate a little better, 
these would be great for you. They're cheap, they're cute, they're easy to get on, but they are not enough for me as someone who has a medical condition that requires compression socks. I tried wearing them for my morning and walking around and doing stuff and I just felt already exhausted. I felt my blood not circulating very well. And were they better than nothing? Yes, but they weren't enough for me and what I need in a compression sock. And I have been wearing these, I will say, because I didn't wanna waste my money. <laughs> I did spend $25 on them. And so I've been wearing them in the mornings because sometimes in the mornings I might want to take a shower a little bit after getting up, but I have stuff to do right when I get up. So I'll wear these as my morning socks. <laughs> I don't want to take the time to put my tighter socks on. I'm not ready to go out and do anything. And so I've been wearing these in my morning socks and they're actually really great for that because they're quick and easy to put on. And I might be laying around a lot in the mornings because my mornings are rough. You should watch my morning routine video. <laughs> but these are just my morning socks. I could not wear them all day. They would not help me in the way that I need. They definitely wouldn't be good enough for me if I wanted to do anything up and active. These are like my, my lay around, I don't want to get out of bed socks. And that's about all I think I'm going to use them for. Okay, so our next most expensive socks are these Stamina, I believe is the brand. No, this says different. Physics Gear. Physics Gear Sport is um, these ones. They're 20 to 30 MMHG as well. And these are $14.99 a pair. So quite a bit more expensive than these $4 ones. And these are terrible. <laughs> okay, these are not worth $14. I kept them in the box because I tried them on once. And I'm going to see if I can return them. So if you don't need the tightest 30 to 40 MMHD medical compression socks, go for these cheap ones over the $14.99 ones because I tried these on and they were, they felt exactly the same as those other cheap ones. So why would I spend so much extra money for another pair of cheap socks? Like I'd rather either spend an extra $10 and get 30 to 40s or spend $4 and not waste the extra money. So these, these are the worst ones, okay? Because they're more expensive and they don't work like at least the cheap ones they they're worth the money is what I should say these are worth four dollars a pair that's that's how well they work they're about four dollars worth of working these are not four dollars worth of working these stamina physics gear sports not good don't buy these. So now we are going to jump into the $25 range, which does put us into 30 to 40 MMHG, meaning they are tighter. They are medical compression socks for people with medical conditions, and they are definitely going to be tighter, better quality. So we have two that were about the same price. Um, we have True Form Leg Health compression socks, and we have Doc Miller compression socks. The one fun thing about these Dr. Miller is they do come in a couple different colors when my other brand only comes in black and tan. So I got the blue ones, so we'll see how these go and hopefully these will be good. I don't know. I think I might have been right. I don't think anything can beat my Jobs brand, so let's try it. Okay, just been filming some other videos today. And I gotta update you on these because look at this. Ow! That is what these socks have done to me. Oh my gosh, this hurts really bad. It's like I didn't realize it, and then all of a sudden I was like, why is my leg itching and kind of hurting? And then I pulled down my sock. And that is from being just too tight right there at the top of my of my cap. So I am thinking these are probably a no-go because I think the other side is probably very similar. Ow! Oh my goodness. <clears throat> yep. That is not feeling so good. Those are a little too tight at the top. And then these ones, the true form, were similar to the Jobst, which again, Jobst are my favorite brand. They're the ones I wear every day. These are the Jobs brand. These are the True Form brand. So you can see they look very similar on camera. The difference is their texture. The True Form has like 
I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of got this like bumpy texture. And then uh, the Jobs brand has much more of like a, a smoother texture and it feels more like, I don't know, like a pantyhoe, I guess. I don't know, like a thick pantyhoe, I would say. So they look similar, but the textures are different. And then the Doc Miller brand outside, just like filling them without putting them on, they feel really soft. Like they feel more like socks, but they do not feel like that on the inside. <laughs> the inside was not very comfortable. I didn't really like the texture of the Doc Millers. The inside was just kind of rough. They felt like I was wearing medical compression socks. I feel like my jobs, and maybe it's because I've worn them all day, every day for years, that I don't really notice how they feel. And both of these two brands, Trueform and Doc Miller, I like felt a difference. I felt like I was wearing some kind of sock. And I don't know how I feel about it still, to be honest. <laughs> I don't hate the Trueform material. I do very much dislike the material of the Doc Miller. I think it was tight enough. I don't think they were quite as tight as my jobs, but they worked. They just weren't very comfortable. Okay. They just, I just didn't think these were the most comfortable socks that were put on. I was thinking about them the whole time I had them on. These ones, I actually somewhat liked the material the longer I wore it. However, the open toe ones, which it's summer right now as I'm filming this, the open toe ones roll up so bad, way worse than my jobs pair. So I actually think I might like these in a closed toe and they really do compare very well to my jobs. I feel like they work just as well as the jobs. They're just as tight. They work as well. I kind of like the material. It's kind of different. I do like it, but the open toes roll up a lot and I had to keep fidgeting with it, especially when I put like sandals on. It just got really annoying. So I think... These will not be as good for summer, but I do think they're $10 cheaper than Jobs. And I think I'm going to order some of these for winter. Closed toe, I'm thinking, I haven't tried them yet, but I'm thinking the closed toe might be a winner here. Now, I'm not sure they are better than Jobs, but for $10 cheaper, they are very, very comparable. And I think it'd be worth saving that $10 to buy a few pairs of these. For summer, I'm going to have to stick with my jobs because of the toe rolling that drove me crazy and just got too tight on my toes. But for winter, for closed toe socks, these are honestly a competitor. I was shocked. I didn't think I'd find one that would even come close, but I did actually really enjoy these. And our last pair of socks are by Vim and Vigor, 30 to 40 mmHg, but cute. Okay, this is why I bought these because... <laughs> They were actually 30 to 40s that looked and felt like normal socks. $52 for one pair of socks, you guys. And I just was so curious because I hadn't seen a 30 to 40 MMHG that were actually cute, fun socks. So I tried them and I spent $52 on this one pair of socks just for you. And when I first put them on, I was extremely disappointed. They are not good. I'm not a fan. I'm not liking these at all, so these are not good. Today, I'm going to be filming some videos, and I am going to have to change these socks. Like I, The other ones I was going to try to wear two days to get a good idea of whether I like them or not, but today is not the day. So I have been wearing these since that first initial try-on, and it's going better. I don't hate them as much as when I first tried them on. And after comparing them to the cheapo ones, they are better. Okay, they are significantly better than these $4, 20 to 30s. They're definitely tighter than the 20 to 30s. They are definitely better. They just don't even compare to the True Form or the Jobs brand. They don't even compare to the tightness level to the amount of relief that I feel when I wear them. They don't compare to that, but I have to say I am glad to have one pair that's a little bit tighter that's cute that maybe I could wear with a cute dress or if I'm wanting to just change things up every once in a while, but I do not think they are worth $50. So not like 
they were kind of a waste of money, honestly. They definitely don't work a $50 level. <laughs> I don't know why they are $52. They aren't the worst things I've ever put on, but they just they aren't as good as my jobs or as the true form. And it's such a bummer because they are really cute. They're actually like got a pattern on them that's cute and adorable. And so I may wear these occasionally, but day to day, I am sticking with True Form, my new trial brand, and my tried and true Jobst. So I think I definitely need to compare individually Jobst and True Form because it was the only one that even measured up. So we still have a winner, but we definitely have a runner up now. And I will be trying them out long term to see the other ones hands down after two weeks of wearing them can already say they do not measure up to jobs but true form you may you may have me you ha may have me sold okay we're gonna try it summer socks we're still sticking with our beloved jobs but in the winter when I'm ready to wear full toe socks we might have a good competitor to catch up so let me know in the comments below what is your favorite pair of compression socks. Do you wear them every day like me? Do you wear them occasionally? After watching this, which pair is the one for you? Are you like me and need those tight <laughs> compression socks or are you good with the looser, cute, fun ones? I'm a little jealous. I wish I could wear these llama socks every day. I really do. And I would, I would wear them if I could, but they just, they don't measure up for me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you live chronically ill like me, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can learn how to live the most amazing life while living chronically ill. And I'll see you on the next one.